Let them know what Ross stands for, too. Go crazy. Crew! <laughs> Go crazy. Oh, man. Go crazy, my boy. Probably, I'm. You think, you think of the pitch and the closer part of the game, I'm, I'm need the closer place in, when needed. Right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's just staying ready. Uh, I got all the, all the players on my team, and the, the coaches are always telling me stay ready. And that's the most important thing because you never know when, when your name's going to get called. So that's, I just keep that in the back of my mind to stay ready, even if it was like, what, the last two minutes of the fourth? Just stay ready. Um, the last seconds of the fourth, you got called for a technical. Um, what, what happened there, and how, how were you able to redeem yourself? Um, there was a miscommunication, I think, with me and the ref. From what I thought he told me was I was I was able to do that. I had one of those, but I guess they counted uh, that we already had to delay a game with, I don't know, I guess we we're trying to sub a player in and then we, we canceled the sub. I didn't know that counted as a uh, as already as a warning, so I thought we still had we still had one to do that. So I guess it was just a miscommunication with me and the ref. And it's all right though. Wow. Wow. Right move. That's my guy, right move. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to, to contribute on this stage of the conference, especially when playing time hard to get? Yeah, it feels good, uh, and it's a confidence booster in case you know he decides to use me again going forward. So that's always a good thing. But you know, the main thing over here is we just want to win. We just want to win the championship, regardless of who plays, how many minutes you play. That really doesn't matter right now. It's just it's all about winning. So you know, it feels good to be able to come in and, and help contribute in a, in a pretty big game. Uh, was it difficult when uh, the ball was uh, given to you and then you took that shot that gave you a four point lead? Uh, you're coming up cold from the bench, or was it difficult? It's, it's, it's not easy, but uh, you know, I kind of had similar situations like that when I played for Magnolia uh, my rookie year. Um, it's not the first time I've kind of been put in a, a game like that towards the end. And, and things like that happen. So, you know, I think Magnolia kind of prepared me a little bit for moments like these. Um, and just like I said, the players on my team and the coaches always telling me to stay ready because you really never know when, when you're going to go in. You scored the first five points in overtime. Was it really the plan to get to go in early in overtime? Or it just happened? No, I think for me it was more so that, that mistake I made with the, the, the technical, I had to make up for it. So I was a little more motivated and, you know, it lit it lit a fire in me because I was like that that's a you know that's a big turnaround. We could have just got a stop and won the game, but instead my my technical mistake gave him a free free throw and then we had to go to overtime. So it was it was more so like I had to make up for that mistake. Moving forward, can you expect to you know play more minutes because of this? I have no control over when I go in and how many minutes I play, but you know it just goes back to what I said initially was just stay ready because you never know. I mean, I'm not the only guy on the bench that could go in and produce. There's other guys on this team, as you guys know, like that are sitting on the bench that don't really get opportunity, but they're they're really good basketball players too. So that's just kind of how it is. That's how that's how strong our team is. But it is, you know, that's just what it is. Okay.